Rhino's coming on, but can he make a real, real difference on the Rhino? guys so today is manchester united at home of course it's a pretty big game today obviously we just played them in the fa cup when uh, we uh, lost one nil last week we absolutely battered them uh, we hit the bar twice we had some bad disallowed goal disallowed so today we're looking for revenge and today i think we're going to do it philip coutinho luca digne probably playing probably not we're not really too sure but uh yeah, love to get a win today. It'd be very big. Man United are in terrible form. They've obviously lost to Wolves recently. They're, they've got battered by us. They've had obviously like Ralph Ragnick come in and they're not playing very well. And we are on a really big positive. Gerard's coming in, Coutinho's coming in, Digne's coming in. We're playing really well at the minute. And uh, yeah, today I think we're going to win. I think we're going to get our revenge. I'm going to go 2-1 Villa. And uh, yeah, let's get some revenge. We're in the arcades. Say, so, how are you? Good. Uh oh, uh, <laughs> you wasted your money, you do know that. So Kai, what's the plan here? So we've just left Resorts World. We're going to Birmingham International now to uh, meet Grandad. Why are you still recording me? <laughs> Are Villa winning today? Yes. <laughs> Here are the Bunny United fans here. United fans, outside Villa Park. We've got Kev and Lily here today, Manchester United at home. What do you think today? Uh, hopefully we'll win. Uh, we should have won last game, so I want to go 2-1. Yeah. 2-1 Villa, yeah, and what do you think the score's going to be? 1-1. Uh, 1-1, who's going to score? Maybe nope. Coutinho? Yeah. Coutinho, yeah. What do you think of the Coutinho signing? I think it's a, certainly a great statement. Shows we're going in the right direction. Yeah. I don't think he'll play today. No, neither, but yeah. And yeah. Uh, up the villa. Up the villa. You can't really see it now, but I've just brought a Philip Coutinho scarf. Well, it actually looks pretty good. You can't see it now, but what? I think we're half an hour from kickoff outside the ground. Uh, United fans were coming down the villa street in fine voice, so it should be a good game. And uh, come on the villa. This is what it's all about. We're inside the stadium, there's a real big bird togetherness about today. Digne's playing, Coutinho, he's on the bench. United are in terrible form, Ronaldo isn't even on the bench. So I think we're going to do it today. 2-1, we're going to do it. Oh, it oh, Aston Villa, come on. Hello, granddads. I don't care what the score is, as long as we win. That's yeah. it, we need to win. Two. Yeah, what's the score going to be? Don't care. Okay. Three, three points, that's the score. Yeah. Oh, the Villa. Martinez, just through his hands. We're a couple minutes into the game. Someone's put the ball in the box or from a free kick and it's just gone through Emi Martinez's legs. Not the best of starts, what's four or five minutes into the game and we're losing 1 0. Man United fans setting off smoke bombs and stuff. So. We're letting them get the ball and we're not going to attack them. And when they get the ball, we're not going to press them either. I don't think I've seen Louise or McGinn or anyone really make a tackle properly. So Cash looks really hesitant and we need to step it up if we want to get a win or something from this game. Oh, see it again. What is that? Good save from De Gea there. 
And that's our first actual proper shot of the game. Half time and Jesus, what a bad half of football. Probably the worst half I've seen under Stephen Gerrard. And the worst half in a long time. I saw in the first half an hour, I think we had 15% possession or something like that. It was really bad. And then I can't remember if we had a single shot on target apart from the Luka Dean shot. But Man United are coming at us and they're actually looking really threatening. They look a lot better than they did on Monday. They've also got no Ronaldo, no Rashford. And it's really working for them. But for us, Ramsey, Watkins, Ings going forward. We've got nothing going forward. Buendia and Sanson, I thought, have actually had a pretty decent game. But apart from that... None of our players are doing anything. Luca Dean's always forward. Cash is, looks really lazy today, and it's all going wrong at half time. We're going to be honest. We need a bit of quality. We need a better second half. We need a goal. We need this man to come on and score for the Coutinho. You know, I would agree with that. But actually, De Gea has made three really good saves. We have had three chances, and he's done three blinding saves. It's a bugger that we that he's done that. But come on, we have we've got great chances. Just gotta keep, just keep at them. Yeah. Tay, you got a football, but the first, sec, first half, what do you think of that? It's been good. It's really quite fair, but their players are probably worse than Greenish and Diving. <laughs> yeah, okay, they are free. They dive more than half mile. If yeah, the ref is pretty bad. But... If Coutinho comes on, we could have a chance. If he doesn't, maybe Watkins can pull one goal out. Come on, let him proceed in the second half. That's better. Come on. Season. fans as well we've really set it up in the second half well, let's keep it going come on see over there with Philip Coutinho, the main man is coming on. Oh, sugar, we, we can see them. Fernandez again. Well then. Come on, Villa! Come on, Villa! It's 2-0. We've been all over Man United in the second half. It's a game of two halves and we're losing. As Pyro's again in the United end. Fernandez, who's been crap all game, we've been giving him a brutal game, has scored two goals today. And we're losing. Coutinho's coming on, but can he make a real, real difference on the road? Come on, where is it? The score's out. Get rid of Coutinho's score. Come on. I mean, you can't really hear him because they're all the way over there. The United fans actually have probably been the best set of fans I've seen in the part of the season. How Tyro Mings even touches the England squad, I've got no idea. Come on! What are we doing? Why is he shielding the ball? Down there, 
Terrible, awful, average, poor first half from Villa today. Man United definitely deserved the lead uh, at half time. The goal was a bit fluky, but they were all over us and they probably could have scored a couple more. But in the second half, Gerard proved again why he is a second half manager. We were all over United. We had so many chances, could have been way more in the second half. Then United go and score a goal from Bruno Fernandes again, like uh, totally against the runner play. Coutinho comes on, Ramsey scores. Again, Ramsey today got man of the match somehow. For me, he, he was awful today. I thought Ra Sanson was our best player in midfield and Buendia was okay today. But uh, Coutinho comes on, <coughs> deals the show. I'll be wearing this scarf for every game this season because uh, I like it a lot and he scored, obviously. But... Nevertheless, 2-2, two, two, a pretty good result, especially from 2-0 down. Uh, Man United fans, actually, were very, very good, surprisingly. I thought they'd be worse than the stewards in the Villa... Well, the stewards in the Man United end got a bit offended that they were letting off smoke bombs. And uh, there was a lot of trouble that we could see. Uh, obviously, they were trying to find, find out who set them off. <laughs> then we set one off in the lower hole. I've ne never really seen that properly before. So it didn't really seem to care for us. But either way, Man United fans are really good. That's probably a really bad result for them. 2-0 up against Villa. Uh, they should be winning against teams like us for them anyway. But let's go. Philip Coutinho. Who needs Grealish when you've got Coutinho? 2-2. Two -two, good result. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Up the Villa. Like the video if you enjoyed. Share around my United fans and Villa fans. And yeah.